Daily Devotional Romans 15 verses 1 to 7 We who are strong ought to bear with the failings of the weak and not to please ourselves. Each of us should please our neighbors for their good to build them up. For even Christ did not please himself. As it is written, The insult of those who insult you have fallen on me. For everything that was written in the past was written to teach us so that through the endurance taught in the scriptures and the encouragement they provide, we might have hope. 
May the God who gives endurance and encouragement give you the same attitude of mind toward each other that Christ Jesus had, so that, with one mind and one voice, you may glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Accept one another, then, just as Christ accepted you in order to bring praise to God. Encouraging Words and Actions We all need encouragement to keep us motivated, loved, and confident in ourselves and the things we do. It's essential for our mental and overall health. It can give us just the same amount of joy and extend it to others. We all know what it feels like to pursue something, whether starting a new job, trying out a creative hobby, or undertaking small life changes. And not to get feedback or encouragement, it can lead to discouragement. We may want to quit, and it feels hard to stick with our goals. God created us. He knows everything about us inside and out. Therefore, He encourages us through the scriptures, and He teaches us the importance of lifting up those around us. Imagine how our family, church, and community could change for the better with a little more encouragement between neighbors instead of quarrels and complaints, or how strong our bond could become if each person lifts up their teammates instead of always getting ahead. What a beautiful world it could be. We can start with our family. But remember, our relationship with our spouse comes second only to our relationship with God. Make every moment count. Charity begins with the family. So starting today, may what comes out of our mouths be words of love and encouragement to build and lift each other to do good to all people. Prayer Heavenly Father, thank you for your guidance, which reminds us to be strong for the weak and encourage one another. Help us live out this teaching, sharing love and encouragement in our families, communities, and church. Let our words and actions be a source of motivation and support for others. We pray for the strength to follow the example of Christ who accepted us. May we in turn accept one another and bring glory to your name. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. <music>